Hello and welcome to this week's TV Tropes Reading. Uh, I've decided I'm doing two, try to do two this week. So uh, today's, this week's first one is Adults Are Useless. It actually comes with a quote. Is every adult on this show a moron? Says Timmy Turner from The Fairly Odd Parents, commentating on a parody of The Simpsons. And I'm thinking that's from the uh, one where he gets sucked in the TV. Okay, now the description. In some shows that revolve around teenagers, preteens, or younger children, adults can't seem to do anything right, if, if they even appear on screen at all. Teachers tend to be annoying sticks in the mud who do nothing but spoil people's fun. Parents are clueless and either over or underproductive. And any other designated authority figures a kid might come across probably don't exist. Usually, this is just a plot necessity, especially on some com most comedy shows. After all, a high school hustler could hardly get anything done if, he, if the teachers kept their eyes open and if the parents were vigilant, being told that you are grounded would probably most likely wreck the plot. But on a handful of drama shows, there's real venom to it. Radio Free Roscoe is about a group of heroic teens who defy a tyrannical school administration. On a smaller scale, Degrassi, the next generation, has episodes where it's implied that stealing school property is no big deal, but it's disgraceful to inform on the thief. Shows where adults are useless can also be shows where you can't get away with nothing. Kids who break school rules somehow always get caught, but due to bad luck, not because a teacher was alert. Also common when adults are told something is happening but simply don't believe it, resulting in a Cassandra truth. The logical extreme of this trope is there are no adults. Gives the impression that only teens or younger kids are capable of saving the world and stuff. Can lead to the family unfriendly Aesop that there's no point in telling adults about your problems because they'd either disbelieve you or be too useless to help. This trope can occasionally be used in a more mature fashion to make an Aesop about growing up and realizing that adults are not all powerful. This is especially common in military or war themed shows and literature where the point is that adults are ultimately unable to protect the younger generation. This version is, unfortunately, often truth in television. Another interpretation of this is merely that the adults who can't help won't because the dilemma's solution, at least, the, at least the obvious and more exciting one, would pretty much wind up breaking several laws and safety codes. This can be especially true in a lot of shows involving the police or merit, military. The ones who strictly adhere to code are always shown incompetent, whereas the ones who break code are the competent ones. Another seldom used aspect of this trope sort of plays off the above. In this version, it's not that the adults are useless, but quite the opposite. The problem is that the protagonist, because of useful embarrassment, need to prove themselves, or simple ego can't ask for help, or accept it when it's given. The message here is that for asking for help is a good thing, you know, because no one can't do any, everything alone, and not bothering to trust people with more skill or experience ultimately causes more trouble than it's worth. This version is also truth in television, but you'll not find many young people who are willing to admit that. I'm totally willing to admit that. Sometimes it may be a simple case of poor communication kills. Sometimes the adults seem worthless because they aren't seeing it from the character's point of view, or a combination of the above where the kids simply don't tell the adults that they don't know. Parental obliviousness and police are useless are subtropes. An obstructive bureaucrat may show up, but it's not something the younger age group encounters often. See also Teenage Wasteland, Competence Zone, Parent, parent X Machina, Best Years of Your Life, Lazy Husband, and Babysitter from Hell. For an inversion, see Teens are Monsters. Not to be confused with Humans or Bastards, which deals with everyone being violently like this. Now, I read the examples, but they're pretty much all similar. So pretty much, like I said, it boils down to, you know, every show where the parents are stupid and, and like the teenagers, know, teenagers and kids know everything. The one example that comes to my mind that's like the epitome of this is Kids Next Door. That's like this, like, Kids Next Door is like pretty much this trope, okay? And, you know, stuff like that. It's usually, I see it a lot in cartoons. I don't really watch much TV, but when I do see see this, where adults are stupid, it's in cartoons. Mainly to play to, you know, kids want to feel superior. You know, everyone's, everyone wants to feel superior. But, uh, I don't think adults are useless. Of course, you know, I didn't even think, I mean, I'm growing, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I guess I could technically be counted as adult at being 19, but... I never thought adults were useless. I actually pretty thought they were pretty cool. So this is one of the more uh, you know fictional things that happen. I mean, there are places where adults are kind of dumb, but a I would say 85% of the time they're pretty good. So 
that ends it for this one uh, in a few minutes. Uh, I don't know how long. We're going on to the next one, which is Adventure Towns. See you next time.